Greetings, Preacher Rick with you live at 5 one more time. We're so thankful for the opportunity to share the gospel every day. It's such a blessing to be alive and be able to use these lips of clay for his glory one more time, and I'm so thankful for that. I pray to be a blessing to you today. Uh, today, uh, when you think about what this is, about growing weary, growing not weary, and there's a lot of people that grow growing weary today because, well, the pandemic and because of all the other troubles and heartaches of life, maybe in their own personal life, and you never want to allow uh, all the things that are going on either around you personally or around you uh, nationwide or, or worldwide or wherever it may be. You want to always uh, realize that we're not home. We're not home. This world is not our home. Thank God we're only passing through. Grow not weary and well-doing. Thank God. I, I uh, want to go to the old book of Malachi there at the end of the Old Testament uh, for to get this. And it's sort of a sad verse, uh, you know, because the priests of that day uh, were so ungodly ministers. Got a lot of ungodly ministry in the world today. And it kind of breaks your heart to see, but it's nothing new. There's always been false prophets, false teachers, uh, people uh, spreading lies, people using religion as a uh, as if this world and this life is all we got. Uh, but unless God's in it, it's all in vain. Well, in, anyway, just to bring you up to power on it, up to snuff in the first chapter uh, of Malachi, just partial verse is a part of verse six says, "The son honors his father." and a servant his master. Now this is God speaking uh, to the priests. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name. Uh, so wow. Uh, he, said, uh, he said, you despise my name. And if you go down uh, to verse 13, he says, ye said also, behold, what a weariness what a weariness it is, is it? Uh, talking about the, doing the work of the Lord. He said in uh, the verse ahead of that in verse 12, but ye have profaned it in that ye, the table of the Lord is polluted and the fruit thereof, even his meat is contemptible, you've said, in other words. He said, ye said also, behold, what a weariness it is. Ye have snuffed at it, saith the Lord. Wow, ye have snuffed at the Lord's work saith the Lord, and, uh, and uh, people today, uh, they like to tickle ears, and they like to please men, uh, but you can, you can please men in this world, and maybe get a big following, but I don't want any following uh, if I leave the Word of God. I'm not interested in anything except the Word of God and His glory. Amen. Thank God, because that's all that really matters is the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, a very familiar scripture that in the New Testament about growing weary is Galatians 6, 9. It says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if, there's that word if again, that biggest word, two-letter word in the English vocabulary, biggest word, period, uh, if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. So we have a grave responsibility, uh, as Christians do, toward one another. And as I was sharing yesterday, you know, the Bible says, let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. And it goes on. So we see uh, that we're to not grow, let up ourselves become weary in well-doing. Uh, because we will reap if we faint not. So we see that, and as we turn turn back to the uh, original scripture we was reading to you, I'd like to also look in uh, uh, Matthew uh, twenty four thirteen before we turn back to Malachi. Actually, I'm going to go all the way to verse 11, uh, Matthew 24, 11, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And that's what was going on in the land of Israel, see. 
uh, when uh, what we're reading in Malachi, and Jesus foretold us it was going to happen again uh, many times. He said, Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And I preached about that, and I may preach about that verse again tomorrow. Uh, tied in with something else that's on my heart. But because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And, and then it says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So grow not weary in well-doing, for we shall reap in due season, if we faint not. So we got to do some enduring, don't we? Amen. Now, turning back and maybe preach a little bit, be God's will. Uh, it says, Ye also behold what a weariness is it. Uh, ye said also, Behold, what a weariness it, it, it is it. So they were saying it's wearisome uh, to uh, to do these things uh, that, uh, that the prophets have been uh, telling us we need to do and the priests before us and the priests before them and the priests before them. Uh, and you're seeing that today. Uh, people are saying it's wearisome to go to church on Sunday night. We ought to do away with Sunday night service. It's weariness uh, to go to church. Even the preachers, I even hear preachers talk about, well, we don't, uh, there's nothing in the Bible that says we need to go to church on Sunday, or nothing in the Bible says we need to go to church on Wednesday. Well, uh, there, you know, you can you can pick anything, you can nitpick anything to death. But God's been in it for years, obviously, and our forefathers obviously realized how important it was uh, uh, to uh, keeping the Sabbath, and all how important it was in the middle of the week uh, to keep the congregation together. And now that the church has basically uh, seen what it is not to have the congregation we once had, uh, maybe some eyes will be opened up. But God. Uh, was uh, that's what they were dealing with. Uh, they said everything's wearisome. And people act today as if everything's wearisome. I've said to my kids, and I've said uh, I've said many times from the pulpit myself, uh, I don't grow weary from going to church. I grow weary of being home. That's where the problems are. Uh, if you want to grow weary, stay away from the house of God. What did David say? He said, I was glad when they said, let us, let us go to the house of the Lord. Uh, uh, thank God forever. I love my brothers and sisters, don't you? Uh, and I'll be glad when this pandemic's over. Uh, and I'll be glad uh, if uh, God allows us to get back to a normal life. Uh, uh, but what, regardless, uh, I'm glad to be a Christian today, and there's nothing weary uh, about serving God. Uh, thank God I find it weary not to serve God. If anything uh, tears me down and gives me a bad day, uh, it's if I allow myself to sink uh, uh, in slumber and uh, in, in in crocodile tears, feeling sorry for myself, uh, or if I allow myself to uh, uh, slip and do something that I know God wasn't pleased with uh, and allow some kind of sin uh, uh, to take dom dominate my time for a day. Uh, uh, well, that's when I'll have a bad day. But when I uh, uh, get up and I thank God for another day, uh, uh, when I praise him for the breath I take, uh, uh, when I uh, hide his word in my heart and start my day off, uh, uh, thank God how glorious it is uh, uh, to know that my Savior lives uh, and to know that my name's in his book of life uh, and that he granted me another day uh, on his earth. I'm thankful. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, even getting up in years, it can be wearisome. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, when you're young, you see older people walking real slow. Or you see them doing things. You uh, kind of question and wonder why. Uh, uh, <laughs> you don't question it much when you get a few years on you. All of a sudden, you have bones that hurt you didn't know you had. Uh, you have muscles that ache you didn't know you had. Uh, if you knew you had them, you never realized what they felt like before. But I'll tell you this. Uh, uh, thank Thank God forever. Uh, I hold on to the fact uh, that I'm saved and I'm glad to have each day that God grants me uh, on his green earth. And I'm glad, uh, uh, thank God, to know that my name uh, is in that book and that I'm saved. Uh, I'm saved, 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 saved from a, a, a life of sin and destruction from a hell, a certain hell far uh, and brimstone that's coming for those that die lost. Uh, I don't want to die without the Lord Jesus Christ. 
as my Lord and Master. Uh, I want him as my Savior, thank God. I want to be a Christian uh, uh, seven days a week and 24 hours a day. Uh, uh, I say thank God forever. Uh, I am so glad uh, uh, that Jesus uh, uh, saves me, uh, that he keeps me, and that his uh, uh, word uh, uh, goes ahead of me as a lamp unto my feet uh, and a light unto my path. Uh, there's nothing weary about serving God. Uh, I find it weary uh, to not serve God. Uh, uh, thank God. I want to be a Christian, don't you? Uh, don't grow weary, child. Uh, don't allow the things of this life to drag you down and pull you down and tell you there's no hope uh, and tell you it's, it's all over. Uh, I'll never forget when God called me to preach uh, uh, back in 1982. Uh, uh, there was a dear old man dying uh, uh, up Railroad Hollow out close to South Webster, Ohio. Uh, he was uh, dying and I went to his dying bed. Uh, uh, he wanted me to come and have prayer with him and uh, and he said something. Uh, he had said something to me just uh, 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 back in 82. He died a few years later. I'll get this straight in a minute. Uh, but he had said something to me when I went to his dying bed. I never forgot uh, what he had reminded me of when I first got called to preach. He looked at me in the eyes. Uh, he said, Preacher, don't do what I did. Uh, and I said, What's that? Uh, he said, Don't say uh, there's no use uh, and throw up your hands. And he said he had started preaching when he was young uh, and he just couldn't uh, find any use. Uh, he couldn't get uh, things done. Uh, things weren't happening the way he thought they ought to be. So he just threw up his hands uh, and quit. And you know, I held on to his words. Uh, I went to his dying bed years later and I've always thought about what that old man said to me. Uh, and you know what? Uh, I've never allowed myself to get tired of preaching uh, uh, regardless of whether I see results or not. Uh, I know that God's word will not return void. Uh, it will accomplish its intended purposes. I preached the other day uh, and regardless uh, of what man, man can say this and man can turn you off uh, uh, but the word of God will not uh, it always, he'll get the glory. Uh, he knows my heart and that's the only reason I preached to begin with uh, is to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm not weary of it. I praise God for the opportunity. Bless his loving and holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's a blessing to be with you again. God bless you, beloved. Until the next time, we'll be praying for you. We love you. Bye-bye. This is Preacher Rick signing off.